It's time to worry about how much time you've wasted on Twitter. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Samsung smartwatches will cost you a pretty penny. Samsung announced the prices of its new wearable devices. The Gear 2 smartwatch is $300. The Gear 2 Neo, which is the model without a camera, it costs $200. And that's also the price of the cooler looking Gear Fit Band with a curved screen. Now all three of these devices hit stores April 11th, which is the same day as the arrival of the Galaxy S5 smartphone. I wouldn't rush to be the first with a Gear smartwatch. I mean, the Gear devices may be alright, but a bunch of Android powered smartwatches with Android Wear are coming out this year. And the Moto 360 is launching sometime in the summer. You just have to see what else is out there before dropping $300 on a gear. In the meantime, Android owners, you'll have a new voice command trick to show off to your friends. Using the Google search app on Android, say, OK Google, take a photo. Or you could say, take a video. If you don't care to use the magic words OK Google, then you can tap the microphone to say, take a photo. And when you do, it'll launch the camera app. A prototype controller for Valve's upcoming Steam Machine game console is going through an evolution. It's keeping its unique touchpads but adding buttons, including directional up, down, left and right buttons. The Steam Machine isn't your typical video game system. It's for playing PC games on your TV. And PC games are usually programmed for mice and keyboards. And when CNET reviewer Eric Franklin got to play with the controller this week, he said the touchpads were so sensitive that it was hard to get used to it during the short time he tested it. And on the topic of game systems, PlayStation owners will have exclusive access to original TV shows. According to the Wall Street Journal, Sony's working on a TV show called Powers. It's based off a comic book, and it'll be available on the PlayStation Network. Twitter has been around for eight years, and to have some birthday fun, Twitter launched a site where it's really easy to look up your very first tweet and reshare it. You go to first-tweets.com and you can look up anyone's first tweet. And yes, that is mine. It's pretty funny searching through the first tweets of many folks as they gripe about how they finally will try this Twitter thing or that maybe they're just trying to figure out the whole thing. You know what? It's still pretty confusing today for newcomers and that's a challenge Twitter will have to solve in order to grow. That's your tech news update, but you can find more details at cnet.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.